Hey guys, it's Andrea and it's been a long time. It's been over a year since I've done a video and it's just been a really crazy year. And if you guys watched my last video, it was all about me coming out. And so this video is all about my life since coming out. So if you guys didn't watch my last video, basically I identified as bisexual for 20 years, starting from when I was 17 to when I was 37. And there was a lot of time in there that I didn't really doubt my sexuality, but I think there were signs to where I wasn't quite identifying correctly, but I just kind of repressed it and didn't think about it or whatever. And then in the past couple years, I started kind of really questioning if that bisexual label was correct for me. And then last year in 2017, it all just kind of changed and I had been married for nine years at that point and I ended up getting separated. I ended up realizing that I was a lesbian and then ended up falling in love. And so I came out in March of 2017 to family and friends and then I made my coming out video in May of 2017 and now it is July of 2018 and a lot has changed. So I was going through a lot in the last video. I was having to clean my house. I was having to put my house up for sale. I was trying to figure out what kind of job I wanted. I realized that I wanted to be a librarian or work in a library at least. Um, I was trying to figure out if I was gonna try and go get my master's and I was just trying to figure my life out. So since then, my ex and I got a divorce. My girlfriend Erica and I moved in together. We got a new apartment, my house was sold. We actually got engaged. I went back to school just for a, a certificate that would help me get a better library job to kind of help me learn a little bit more about what goes on in working in a library. I have also gotten a library job. I am a shelver. I'm like the lowest of the low jobs in the library, but I really enjoy it. I'd really like to get more hours, but right now I'm just doing part-time and hopefully soon I'll be able to move up a little bit and get more hours. My boys are still kind of having a hard time with the divorce. My older son has a hard time occasionally with the fact that I'm a lesbian. He still kind of occasionally mentions how he wishes that his dad and I would get back together and that's really hard because, you know, I try to explain to him that that's never gonna happen and explain why it's never gonna happen. I know it must be really hard for him. My parents are not divorced, so I, I've never been through that. So I don't know what it's like for him to go through that. And it's really sad, actually. He tells me things sometimes about how some of the kids at school say that it's not okay to be gay. And I think he's, he's doing pretty good with it. He said that he tells them, if you like boys or you like girls, it doesn't matter. You're still the same which, you know, is what I've kind of taught him from when he was really young. I also kind of tell him that he doesn't have to tell people that I'm gay. He doesn't have to put that information out there because I'm sure there are gonna be kids that are gonna be bullies to him once they find out that I'm gay. I hate that he has to go through that. But I've also told him that I am not going to stop being me. I'm not going to be shy about it. I'm not going to lie about my sexuality. I'm still going to hold my girlfriend's hand in public. I'm still going to talk about my girlfriend with his teachers and with other people. So I don't want him to feel like he has to advertise that his mom is a lesbian, but I don't want him to think that we're going to hide it either because we're not. It's such a weird situation. I just, I, I don't, I don't know what to do, you know? As far as how life has been for me being out, it's been wonderful. Most everyone has been very welcoming about it. I'm not really out to everyone at my workplace, but it seems like everybody's fine with it. Friends and family have been really great about it. I haven't really seen much extended family yet, and I know that there are probably gonna be some family members who, who don't approve, and that's just something that I'll have to deal with when I get to that point. There have been a couple little interactions where people stare or do a double take. At my son's school, we went to the Christmas performance and my girlfriend and I went and we sat next to each other and I think my girlfriend might have had her arm around the back of my chair and I might have 
held her hand or something. You know, we weren't kissing or anything like that, but there was a girl who was also in the audience who was, I wanna say probably like 13, and she just kept staring at us, and it wasn't a friendly stare at all. And that was a little bit weird because, you know, with adults, I can just glare back at them and just be like, mind your own business. But, you know, a 13 year old, it's just like, I, I don't know. I didn't know how to react. I didn't know what to do. So I just kind of ignored her and then smiled at her at one point. It was just a weird, it was a weird situation. I don't feel like anything else has really happened in a negative way against me. I know that a lot of, a lot of people have had a lot harder time when they come out. I, I've been pretty lucky in the fact that, you know, I live and I came out in a time when most people are so accepting. But I do know that there, there are still times when I don't really feel comfortable being out, especially in my town because it's a, it's a city, but it's a smaller city and it's full of a lot of conservative people and I know that there are plenty of conservative people who are totally cool with uh, LGBTQ community and they're supportive but for the most part my interaction with a lot of conservative people has been that they don't think that it's okay because of their religion. I just know that there are, there are a lot of conservative people out there who, who are not so gay friendly and it's hard knowing when you can be yourself. But my girlfriend and I really, we just are. We're just ourselves. We just, we hold hands in public. We kiss in public. Not like crazy. We don't, you know, make out in public or anything, but we do kiss in public occasionally and hug each other in, in public and hold hands in public and flirt in public. And we're not gonna just stop doing that. We're, we're still gonna be who we wanna be. So basically my life out as a lesbian has been really great as far as my happiness. I didn't mean to cry in this video, but now here I am crying for the second time. I'm extremely happy. And I have been now for a year and a half or however long it's been since I've been out. And I know a big part of that, a huge part of that is because I am being myself. I am unapologetically myself. And also, you know, another big part of that is being in love. <laughs> I think that, you know, coming out was seriously the best thing I've ever done. I've done a lot of great things in my life, having my kids and, and other things, but being myself, I think is just been the best decision. I constantly have these moments where I'm like, why didn't I realize this before? I also doubt myself sometimes. I think, you know, well, I went through this whole process where I thought I was bi for so long and then I went through a little bit of time where I thought maybe I was asexual and now I'm identify as lesbian. Like, why can't I make up my mind? But that's not, that's not what it is. It's not me being indecisive. I know who I am. I finally feel like I'm being me. I know that there are a lot of people who question their sexuality and even when they come to feel like they are identifying the way that they should be identifying, still feel confused or like they're not gay enough or something like that. And, and I totally had those feelings as well. I had a lot of those feelings for the 20 years that I considered myself bi. I had tons of those feelings, feeling not gay enough and confusion and wondering why I wasn't happy, that kind of stuff. And it doesn't just disappear right after you come out and figure yourself out. You still kind of have these questioning thoughts or like, am I doing the right thing? Are people gonna believe me? You know, wh what if people don't believe me? What if people who've known me for a long time think, oh, you dated guys, you know, I know you, you're not a lesbian, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm sorry, but you don't know me as well as I know myself. So no, <laughs> I'm not gonna let other people tell me what my identity is. Not that anybody has, but I just know that a lot of people, when they come out and when they question their identity, they do have those kinds of thoughts and I think it's pretty normal. Those kinds of thoughts and things are confusing and hard because you think maybe you're not being true to yourself. But when I really sit and think about it, and I think, okay, what do I want? What am I attracted to? Who do I wanna be with for the rest of my life? If Erica wasn't around, what would I do? <laughs> I would date other women. I wouldn't date a guy. I just wouldn't. I'm not attracted to men. I don't wanna be with men anymore. I just wanted to mention that because I know that there are a lot of people who, even after they come out, they're still questioning and still feel like maybe they're not gay enough or whatever. And I just want people to know that, yeah, a lot of people have those thoughts. But for the most part, my life has been really great since I came out. Everybody's been really supportive. I'm just really happy that I get to be myself for the rest of my life. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for all the support that I got after my coming out video. 
and I hope to have many more videos soon. I would like to do some book reviews. I've got a couple of projects and ideas in mind for other videos and maybe some more bullet journaling videos as well. So I really appreciate everyone who has continued to follow me and I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.